interesting and very easy topic. This heat section, three questions, three to four question in NEET exam and minimum two question in JEE exam. But in the heat section, many sub articles, sub parts are there. वो सब पार्ट्स हम ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक अच्छी तरह से कंप्लीट करेंगे सो ये फर्स्ट आर्टिकल इसमें फर्स्ट टॉपिक थर्मोमेट्रिक थर्मोमेट्रिक एंड दिस कंटिन्यूशन इज थर्मल एक्सपेंशन So heat section, one is thermometry and thermal expansion. Another calorimetry. Another one is transmission of heat. Another one. Kinetic theory of gases. Theory of gases and thermodynamics. In this heat unit, these are the total subunits. So sub topics thermometry and thermal expansion common it is single topic and calorimetry and another transmission of heat the contribution gaseous state and thermodynamics this thermometry study of temperature Study of temperature only the concept of temperature that is thermometry and how to measure the temperature how to measure which instrument is used to to measure the temperature that is studied in thermometry so thermometry study of temperature and thermometers and thermal expansion. There are three type of expansions. One is solid expansion and liquid expansion and gases expansion. Expansion of gases. There are three type of expansions. The studied in thermal expansion and relation of these. So. Solid expansion, liquid expansion, and gases expansion between the relations. And study of heat. So heat is classified into one is specific heat, and another one is latent heat. And mechanical energy converted into heat. Heat converted into mechanical energy. That relation we studied in calorimetry. And transmission of heat. When heat is transferred due to variation of temperature, there are three processes. One is conduction process. Another one is convection. And third one is radiation. So this is transmission of heat, heat transmission. We study the sub topics of conduction, convection, and radiation. And KT is the gaseous properties. Ideal gas and real gas. Ideal gas equation and real gas equation. And pressure exerted by gases. Pressure exerted by gases on walls, walls 
and kinetic energy of gases and degree of freedom freedom these are studied in kinetic theory of gases ideal gas real gas gases laws that is nothing but p into v equals to n r t this is gases law this gases law satisfied by ideal gas so real gas this equation is changed so this is kinetic theory of gases and last one is thermodynamics zero the law and first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics different process so different process means one is isothermal adiabatic isochoric isobaric different process in thermodynamics and carnot cycle these are studied in thermodynamics that means the heat section is it is slightly lengthy topic and lot of theoretical part is there very easy formulas very less number of formulas okay this is the total heat section but we start that from day 1 thermometry and thermal expansion first one what is temperature temperature is defined as the degree of degree of hotness or coldness of body is called temperature degree of hotness or coldness of the body so suppose one body is there this body either hot or cold how to indicates only the temperature of the body the temperature of the body shows hotness or coldness of the body so the, the temperature is a fundamental quantity it is a fundamental quantity temperature is fundamental quantity and scalar quantity fundamental fundamental means independent on other quantities not depends on any other quantity it is a independent fundamental nothing but independent quantity it is a scalar quantity so the temperature indicates t power 1 and units units si unit is kelvin so si unit is kelvin so this is the dimensional formula dimensional formula t power 1 and si unit is kelvin sometimes degree celsius it is indicates also degree degree celsius it is so this is SI unit is Kelvin. The heat transfer from one system to another system, or one body to another body, or in same body, one side hot, another side cold, means heat transfer from hot surface to cold surface. Heat transfer. due to variation of temperature transmission of heat due to variation of temperature so variation of temperature so that gives transmission of heat suppose the two points a and b 
are at same temperature, the transmission of heat becomes zero. So this is called thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium means A and B at same temperature, at same temperature, amount of transferred heat, heat becomes zero. This is called thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium means A and B at same temperature, then transmission of heat becomes zero. It is a study of Study of low temperature. It's called cryogenics. So below seventy seven Kelvin. So temperature of low temperature. So study of low temperature is called cryogenics. It's a temperature below seventy seven. Study of high temperature, pyrometry, temperature more than thousand Kelvin. So one is cryogenics, another one is pyrometry. Next, in a temperature. is directly proportional to kinetic energy of the molecule kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature absolute scale of temperature absolute scale of temperature means this is temperature in kelvin temperature in kelvin kinetic energy of the molecule in a gas in that material medium then kinetic energy directly proportional to temperature ke is proportional to t example suppose so temperature of sun sun surface so sun surface the temperature it's a temperature around sun surface so 6000 kelvin inside inside its value inside the temperature 10 power 7 kelvin it is inside the temperature is 10 power 7 kelvin so this is temperature thermometer is study of temperature thermometer is a instrument which is used to to measure the temperature so there are many type of thermometers and many type of scales of thermometer different scales of thermometer for example one scale is celsius scale kelvin scale fahrenheit scale raimer scale ronkin scale and volume scale pressure scale there are many type of scales are there so the temperature measured using thermometer the thermometer the limits of any thermometer freezing point and boiling point of water freezing point and boiling point of water used to the thermometer scale is made So the thermometer scale is made to water freezing point and water boiling point. Mercury is used in thermometer. A mercury having more specific heat, so very less specific heat, and the mercury having easily expandable and do not vapor vaporize. So mercury having some special qualities. then mercury used in thermometer but a thermometer is manufacturing using freezing point and boiling point of water so example celsius scale the lower limit is 0 degree celsius upper limit is 100 degree celsius and say kelvin scale 273 kelvin and 373 kelvin this is the freezing point of water this is boiling point of water. Same as in Fahrenheit scale, thirty to Fahrenheit to two twelve Fahrenheit. This is the freezing point. This is boiling point. In Reimer scale, zero Reimer to eighty Reimer. So freezing and boiling point values. So this 
thermometer. What is the relation between these? In the relation, suppose this is one temperature is common in every scale. What is the relation? Suppose in degree Celsius, Tc. Okay, this is the temperature. Match it to Kelvin scale T. Then what is the relation? Tc minus lower limit upon number of divisions. Here number of divisions are 100. That is number of divisions. That is 100. So same as here, the Tk minus temperature in Kelvin minus 273 upon the number of divisions that is 100 it is. So this is equals to, so say this is equals to Fahrenheit scale T F T F T F minus the lower temperature is 32 upon number of divisions are 180. This is equals to the temperature in Reimer scale T R where T R minus 0 upon number of divisions are 80. This is equal to volume per scale. The Vt is the value it is matched. Then Vt minus V0 upon V100 minus V0. Same as using in pressure scale, this is Pt. So Pt minus P0 upon P100 minus P0. This is the relation between the temperatures. So suppose this body temperature is measuring. In degree Celsius, this temperature is T C. So using thermal Kelvin scale, this temperature Tk. Using Fahrenheit scale, the temperature is Tf. Using Reimer scale, Tr. But the temperature is same. So that means this Tc value, Tk, Tk value, Tf value are equal. Then that is right as Tc minus lower limit by 100. That is equal to Tk minus 273 by 100. So these are the relation between the scales. So relation between the scales. That means we measured using these scales. The upper limit is 100. Suppose above 100 degrees to measure using different thermometers. In the given problem, at what temperature? If any do the following pair of scales, give the same reading, Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. What is the same reading? Celsius and Fahrenheit scale, you know that this is Celsius scale, lower limit 0 degree Celsius, upper limit is 100 degree Celsius, and same Fahrenheit scale, the lower limit is 32 Fahrenheit and upper limit is 212 Fahrenheit. So what tem temperature is, so we are show the same reading, this condition Tc, this Tf, they both show the same reading, Tc minus 0 upon 100, that is equal to Tf minus 32 upon 180, its value becomes, so this is Tc and Tf, same reading it is, same reading means Tc and Tf indicates the same reading both equal to x, equal to x suppose. So x upon 100, x minus 32 upon 180, its value becomes 9x, okay, 9x is equal to 5 into x minus 32, it is 9x equals to 5x minus 160 it is. Its value becomes 9x minus 5x. 4x equals to minus 160. Where x equals to minus 40. This is nothing but 40 degree Celsius. 40 degree Celsius is equals to 40 degree Fahrenheit. Minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. The second one is. Second one Fahrenheit and Kelvin scale. Same relation is using here, Fahrenheit and Kelvin scale. So this is the Fahrenheit scale, this is 32 Fahrenheit, this is 212 Fahrenheit. And Kelvin scale, its value is 273 and 373 Kelvin. The common temperature, this is same, that means same reading is 
the pair of scales gives the same reading that means T Fahrenheit and T Kelvin these values are same T Fahrenheit that is equal to T Kelvin those both shows X reading but the relation is Tf minus 32 upon 180 that is equal to Tk minus 273 upon this is 100 where x minus 32 after simplification this is 5 this is a 9 x minus 32 by 9 its value equals to this is x minus 273 by 5 it is after cross multiplication this value is so 5 into x minus 32 this is equal to 9 into x minus 273 so it's value 5x minus 160 that is equal to 9x minus 27 this is 65 6 24 it is so this is 24 and again it's value equals to where 4x that value equals to 2457 minus 160 its value is 7 and this is 9 and this is 22. This is equals to 4x where x equals to 2297 upon 4 x becomes 5. This is 7, 28. Again, this is write as 4, 16.25. So this is x value. That means 574. 574.25 Kelvin and 574.25 Fahrenheit are same. Same reading, same reading in Kelvin and Fahrenheit. In the scientific book that describes a temperature, scale is called Z. Z scale is given. The boiling and freezing point of boiling and freezing points are given. This is one Z scale. In this Z scale, the boiling and freezing points are given. This is minus 15 degree Z and this is 65 Z. So lower limit and upper limit values are given. These are the so one scale that is Z. And another, what is the word temperature on Fahrenheit scale? So this is Fahrenheit scale. The limits of Fahrenheit scale, this is 32 and 212, 32 Fahrenheit and 212 Fahrenheit. The value of minus 95 Z, suppose, minus 95 Z, that value equals to how many Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit may this value we want in Fahrenheit scale. Fahrenheit scale may this value is want, we want. Then, this is the TZ, TZ minus, T lower value minus this is 15 upon so difference difference 65 minus of minus 15 it is its value equals to tf minus 32 upon 180 so this value tz is given minus 95z so minus 95 minus of minus plus 15 upon this is 80 this is equals to Tf minus 32 by 180. Its value minus 80 by 80. That is Tf minus 32 by 180. This value is minus 180 equals to Tf minus 32, where Tf is equal to minus 180 minus 32. Its value becomes minus 148 Fahrenheit. Tf value is 148 Fahrenheit. To measure the temperature using thermometers, different thermometers are there. So these are different six different thermometers. One is the liquid thermometer, and another one is gas thermometers, resistance thermometers, thermoelectric thermometer, pyrometers, and vapor pressure thermometer. Suppose exact so liquid thermometer. It is it depends upon the principle of expansion of liquids. 
expansion of liquids and mercury is using the liquid what is the special property of the mercury mercury have low specific heat low specific heat and a high thermal conducting nature thermal conductivity uniform expanding material uniform expanding material and freezing point and boiling point very low freezing point very high boiling point this is the special property of the mercury but this is works on the principle of liquid thermo thermometers the, this is expansion thermal expansion concept using thermal expansion of of liquids using this concept the so works on the principle of thermal expansion of liquids l equals to l naught into 1 plus alpha into tc temperature in degree celsius l equals to l naught into 1 plus alpha into tc this is the liquid thermometer the range, so this is used to, to measure minus 50 degree Celsius to plus 350 degree Celsius. This is the range of liquid thermometers. If the gap of the tube using nitrogen gas, the range increases to, this is minus 80 degree Celsius to 550 degree Celsius. That means using nitrogen gas, nitrogen gas in the empty space of thermometer, mercury ki saath mein nitrogen gas use karne ki wajay se, the range change kar sakta hai, range changes from minus 80 degree Celsius to 550 degree Celsius. The second one is gas thermometers. So these are sensitive to compare the liquid. So more sensitive here works on the principle of pressure directly proportional to temperature in Kelvin scale when volume remains constant and volume directly proportional to temperature of Kelvin scale when pressure constraint in a given mass of gas, a particular mass of gas, P proponents to T and V proponents to T. Here, this works on the principle of, so this is P proponents to T when volume constant, V proponents to T when pressure constant. Using ideal gas, ideal gas means example hydrogen gas, H2 gas. This gas is used to, to measure the temperature. Uh, temperature in degree Celsius, this is equals to P minus P naught upon P hundred minus P naught into hundred it is. Temperature in degree Celsius. If temperature in Kelvin scale, so temperature in Kelvin scale, pressure proponents to temperature in Kelvin. This relation P upon P triple point, pressure at a triple point, that is equal to temperature at any temperature upon temperature of Kelvin, so triple point, triple point temperature it is. So this is Tk is right as P upon P triple point into temperature of triple point it is temperature of triple point. Again here the limits is limits is right as limits it is minus 200 to this is plus 500 degree Celsius minus 200 to minus 500 degree Celsius this is when we using hydrogen gas if hydrogen position replace nitrogen or helium gas when it is extranded nitrogen or helium gas 
extra under minus 268 degree Celsius to up to 1600 degree Celsius this value to measured using gas thermometer hydrogen position mein nitrogen and helium rakha to so that condition minus 268 se so 1600 degree Celsius that measure kar sakta hai this is the gaseous thermometer in resistance thermometer works on the principle of resistance proponents to temperature so R proponents to T when temperature changes resistance of the material changes here using the constant is alpha alpha is coefficient of thermal resistance coefficient of thermal resistance so this is coefficient of thermal resistance this value platinum having more alpha and it is platinum more alpha value and constant so using platinum here but it works on the principle of our proponents should then temperature in degree celsius dc is right as r minus r naught upon r hundred minus r naught into hundred degree celsius this is the so temperature in degree celsius of resistance thermometers suppose the temperature in kelvin scale temperature in kelvin scale it is right as tk is right as r upon r in triple point resistance in triple point into temperature of triple point temperature of triple point 273.15 kelvin it is this is temperature of triple point 273.15 kelvin in this place 273.15 kelvin we using here so this is temperature in kelvin scale this is temperature in degree celsius but here the limits are minus 200 degree centigrade to up to 1200 degrees celsius to measure using resistance thermometer the principle of thermocouple thermocouple two different metals this is the principle of a Seebeck effect so works on the principle of Seebeck effect using thermocouple two different metals are joined so these two different metals this is one metal and this is another metal this is another metal so two different metals are placed at different temperature this is hot junction and this is cold junction ice cubes these are ice cubes this is a hot water to different temperature the thermo emf is induced here this thermo emf e is right as a tc plus b tc square this is thermo emf that means the potential difference generate between these two junctions so this is one junction and this is another junction potential difference is generated so then current is flow through this circuit current is flow through this circuit this is called thermocouple combination of two metals are called thermocouple so induced emf is atc plus btc square so using this principle thermo electric thermometer are works but the range is minus 200 degrees celsius to 1600 degrees celsius this is the thermo electric thermometer range pyrometer 
pyro means five pyro means five days meter very high temperature measured using pyrometers like temperature of sun more than 1000 degrees measured more than 1000 degrees celsius more than 1000 degrees celsius of temperature is measured using this pyrometers but pyrometer works on the principle of stephen's law what is the stephen's law intensity of radiation is directly proportional to fourth power of temperature in kelvin scale t r is proportional to t power 4 works on the principle of stephen's law r proportional to t power 4 it is r equals to e into a into a indicates area of the star so k t k power 4 this is the uh, intensity of radiation. Intensity of radiation that is right as E into A into T power 4 it is. This is the pyrometer. In vapor pressure thermometer, so it is used to, to measure very low temperatures. Very low temperatures means up to 120 Kelvin to point 7, 1 Kelvin up to this is the range very very low temperature vapor pressure thermometers this is works on the principle log P is equals to A plus B into temperature in Kelvin plus C upon temperature in Kelvin C upon temperature in Kelvin so works on the principle of this but its range is very very less 120 Kelvin to 0.71 Kelvin so this is vapor pressure thermometer suppose below 1 Kelvin below 1 Kelvin measuring that is magnetic magnetic thermometers magnetic thermometers are used to measure below 1 Kelvin it works on the principle of Curie. So this is works on the principle of Curie law. Susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature. So in Kelvin temperature, this is works on the paramagnetic substance. Then magnetic thermometers are used to, to measure below 1 Kelvin temperature. This first video of heat section. This video is only temperature and temperature measuring method and different scales and thermometer. This is complete. In the next video, we will complete the calorimetry. In the next video, you will complete the Subscribe करो and like करो and share करो. Thank you.